Okay, today is the the beginning of anything Android. Um, basically, this channel is going to consist of reviews, tutorials, um, really any requests of any kind. I'm not going to be able to do phone reviews, but you know, really anything news related um, to Android. Uh, any game reviews that you guys might want me to do, anything like that, I'll probably get to uh, putting up a video of. Anyways, this is a review of Launcher Pro Plus. Now, you might be familiar with Launcher Pro, but you may not have wanted to go Plus because you weren't sure if it was worth it, wasn't really sure how, uh, how much different it was. Well, it's quite different. Um, if you had the beta version or the free version, you don't have these widgets. These widgets are really useful. This is a Facebook widget. It's a thousand times better than any Facebook widget you'll find on the Android market or you know or on uh, in your operating systems. And it's just it's gorgeous. It's smooth scrolling. You can do anything you can like like a status, write a comment immediately, go to your, you know, go and view your profile. View your profile, and uh, you can go straight to a status update. There's also the same exact thing for Twitter. Um, there's also a calendar widget. Let's see. Let's show you a list of the widgets here. There's a people widget. It's basically just your contacts. Um, go basically right into texting or calling a list of people. Just click on the picture and there you go. Uh, oh, the folder's on accident. Uh, the bookmark widget, basically just your bookmarks on your email, or I'm sorry, your uh, internet calendar. You saw that. It's basic calendar widget. Uh, messaging. Messaging's kind of cool. Uh, there's just say, oh, you know, it was Karen, there's a little profile picture on your phone, and, uh, she texted, I'm taking the kids to the park, want to join us, and you can immediately delete it, or immediately reply. Useful, but I'm just used to the notification bar. Also, you have a Twitter, which is the same thing as Facebook, as I said earlier, a friends widget, which is anybody from... Twitter, Facebook, or any email application you have. So, that's kind of cool. I don't really use it just because the only things I really use is Gmail and Facebook. So, not my thing, but useful if you use a lot of different uh, social networking or emails. Uh, okay, now I'm sure you noticed the doc by now. The dock is awesome. It is, like, this is basically the reason I got it in the first place. It was because of the dock. Um, you can scroll through and just have any applications you want. Um, you can have up to three. I only have two, just because that's the only, the only thing I decided to have. I guess I could have three. I could just put these down into a dock, but, you know, whatever. Um, I'll get back to Doc in a second. The one cool thing I really like is the app drawer. Instead of the regular 2D, two-dimensional app drawer, you have a 3D scrolling app drawer. Looks really nice. Um, pretty cool looking. And you also have a little home home button right there. Pretty useful. Um. Now back to the dock. The dock's really cool. You can have any icon you want. Change icon, custom icon. The icon, download that in Android Market if you want it. I don't really use it that much. But if you want it, it's cool. You know. Depends on if you like the icons that are already there or not. But this application has a lot of cool icons. So we'll just say we're going to set that one to question mark because we just. Yeah, there you go. Oh, question mark. Pretty cool. Um, 
can have anything down here you want, any application, anything. You can set it down here and just, you know, I don't want this anymore. Let's change shortcut. And I'm going to change it and go to applications. It took a while, that was kind of weird. Okay. Well, just the phone's luck. <laughs> um, one day I'm taking a video of it, it starts fucking up. Let's try that one more time. Change shortcut, applications. Okay, that was a little bit better. Um, anyways, change it to anything you want. List of all your applications. Pretty cool. I'm not going to change it because I just don't feel like changing my messaging because I use that a lot. Uh, preferences. Anything really related to the launcher, home screen settings. Uh, can change the number of screens from 5 to 7 to 6 to only 1 if you want. Uh, change the default screen. Have it on 3. I only have 5 right, right now just because that's all I really need. Number of rows. Um, I don't even know what that is actually. Oh, that's if you had a home grid. Um, I don't really like that. I'm not even going to show you that because I'm sure no one's really going to use that. Appearance settings. Dock background. You can have a Foreo background or Foreo wide or a custom. Foreo wide's kind of cool. Um, same to worry about Foreo, but Foreo wide is just like a wider dock looking of a uh, normal Foreo. Pretty cool. Um, behavior settings. Uh, not much to that. Advanced settings. You can have five rows on your home screen. It's kind of cool. You can have elastic scrolling, which I don't know. It doesn't really do much. I never really noticed much of a difference. Um, opening speed. You can change the speed of, of what, what opens. You can, you know, you got three drawer. You can tell how many um, rows or columns rather that you want. Um, you got your widget settings for all your widgets, all your accounts and uh, preferences. Um, general settings, not much to that either. There's this model of droid hack, not sure what that is, because um, I'm on 2.2, but if you have 2.1 and you check that off, let me know what it does because I have no idea what it does. I've heard that it improves in performance. At the same time, I'm not really sure about that. So, if you do get this, try that out. Let me know how it works. Yeah, say I'm running 2.2. That's just widget locker because I hate the Foreo lock screen. Um, let's see what else we have. There's this little bar down here, which is uh, kind of cool. You can turn it off and on. I like it. Let you know what screen you're on. You know, kind of neat. And you know, everything about the launcher is really smooth. It's like f Motorola Blur. Motorola Blur, excuse me, is very slow, really laggy at times. I've had a few problems with Sense even sometimes being a little laggy, um, but. This is really smooth. I mean, no, no lag, no choppiness, just real smooth interaction. And it has a little sense deal, too, of course. And, you know, it's really useful. It's really smooth. Real nice. Real nice feel. Um, it doesn't have any custom skins, doesn't have any themes, nothing like that. It's just a real clean, smoother feel to um, your phone. It's a lot better than Motorola Blur. It, I like it a lot better at Sense as well. Um, if you're looking for themes or something like that, this isn't for you, but if you're looking for something that's going to make your phone feel smoother, and run better, and just uh, overall give you a better feel for your device, this is a must-have, I would say, especially because of the widgets. The widgets are really useful and a lot better than 
anything you're gonna find on the Android market. So if you have any questions, if I missed anything that you were wondering about, send me a message, I'll let you know. If uh, you want a, a video of it, um, of an example of something, uh, request it. If I uh, have enough questions on something, I'll probably do a video. Um, send me a message, let me know what you think. Um, subscribe, I have a lot more videos coming. Um, if you have something you want to see reviewed, Send me a message and I'll most likely review it if I uh, feel that there's n not a lot of it out there. I'm not going to do a bunch of videos that are already there. So, but if there, uh, there's anything you guys want to see, is there anything, any questions you have, like I said, send me a message. I'll let you know what happens uh, if I'm going to do a video or not. So. Anyways, this has been Android, anything Android, rather, <laughs> uh, with a review of Launcher Pro Plus. Very good, very, very good um, replacement for the uh, regular Moto Blur Sense or any other home launcher. So, if you're not happy with your launcher, get this. It's a great replacement. And I will sign off there and see you in, in the next video.